Hey, Better Editors, it's Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to take this long string of selects for this Lexus IS500 and teach you how to automatically chop that up using Scene Edit Detection. To do that, we're going to grab this clip and right-click, go to Scene Edit Detection. A pop-up box is going to come up here and give us a few options. I like to apply a cut at each detection point and also create a bin of subclips because this is going to let me easily scrub through all of this footage. So let's hit analyze and watch the magic happen. And look at that. Our entire clip has been broken up into multiple subclips where an edit has been placed at each cut point in the scene. Awesome. Now go up here and if we look in our project panel, there's a new bin that we can double click, open up, and we can see all of these subclips as individual clips and look at them super fast. Pretty nice, right? Now. There are some cases where you might want to get a little more hands-on with the actual cut points in the clip. To do that, we're going to need to jump into DaVinci Resolve. You can use the free version of DaVinci Resolve to do this. So, if we open up the Studio B-Roll, you'll see that there's a lot of clips in here that look very similar to one another. And sometimes in Premiere, this can give us a lot of trouble because Premiere just gets confused. Well, what's nice is in DaVinci, we have a little more control over where things are cut. So in the Media tab, we're going to right-click the clip that we're interested in cutting up. And then we'll go to Scene Cut Detection. And so what you'll see is there are a bunch of green lines that DaVinci Resolve has added to this scene. And the height of each line represents the probability that there's an actual cut at this location. Let me show you what I mean. Let's look at this gray line over here. If we look at this, we can tell that there is a cut at this point. But you can see why Resolve is confused. This clip, it slightly pulls out right here, and there's a slightly wider shot on the cut before it. So what I'm going to do is grab this pink bar and pull it all the way down here to where the probability of this cut is. And from what I've seen, DaVinci has done a pretty good job of finding the rest of these edits, so I think we'll be safe here. Then I'm going to say Add Cuts into the Media Pool. Close the window, and boom, we're ready to go. Our single clip has been broken up into multiple clips. Now. The bummer here is that there's not always a good way to get these clips that we've just made in DaVinci back into Premiere Pro. And you're probably saying, well, you can export an AAF or an XML. Well, in my experience, that can be hit or miss when you're coming from DaVinci into Premiere. So the best way to get these back into Premiere Pro is to export each of these clips as an individual clip from DaVinci. Now, if you have a better way of doing that, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this helps. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.